Now, this is a good one. This is uh, a lock I also got from Texas Gym. Um, it's a very uh, unusual lock. I've never seen anything like it. Um, although I've seen this uh, particular lock on one of his videos. Um, it's a split core lock. Um, the uh, inner core does turn independently from the other one. And uh, I have picked this one and uh, I thought I'd try to do that again. And uh, we have a key for it. This is the key. It's a very long, unusual key. Um, it's a 7 pin. I'm gonna lock it up here again. There we go. And it works very smoothly. <clears throat> and the funny thing about this uh, key is that the, the key and keyway uh, is symmetrical. So you can stick the key in from this way but you can't turn it, obviously. But, um, anyway, uh, I had some problems picking this because the uh, the lock is so long. Although I managed to pick it with um, this Goso uh, um, uh, high reach or whatever. But uh, then I remembered I, I purchased uh, these uh, I will, it's a Goso or Clom high uh, high end kit. Um, I did a review on these, but I I thought they were kind of crap because the handle is oriented in the wrong way from the um, pick itself, so it makes it very hard to to pick, and most of the picks were very thick, but um. I picked this green one and uh, I'm not sure by the width but maybe it's a uh, 35 thousandths or something like that and um, this one is long enough to easily get to that seventh pin and uh, I did manage to, to pick the lock and I, Texas Jim also sent this um, tension bar along with the lock because it has this extended part goes into the lock and also um, puts tension on the inner part of the core the inner core so let's do that and let's try this uh, clom yeah, it's a clom uh, long hook and see how this goes That's the one, two, and two and three. Number seven, six, five. Click from five. Four. Click from number four. Back on seven. Click from number seven. Six, five, four. I wish I could hold the pick like this, but when I do, the the pick tends to um, turn. It's very difficult.
Come on. There we go. It was number three. So we picked the lock. Um, this is the fourth time I picked it. And the first time I actually I picked from this side the first three and then I went from this side and picked the, uh, the other ones but obviously we can reach all the way uh, videos are running long let's see if we can Oops. get this one open So that's it. Let's see if we can get inside of this without screwing up too much. Okay. How about that? Okay. Tweezers. Serrated. Spool. Serrated. Okay. Oh, okay. That how it, that is how it works. So that's the outer part of the core, riding on a sort of shelf-like thing. <clears throat> Okay. Number three. Two. And one. There we go. Three. Sorry guys, sorry about the long video. Four. Five, six, and seven. So obviously this is a um, custom custom lock, at least the pins. And that is how the uh, cores interact with each other. So you have to use the um, 
the long tension bar to uh, turn both cores otherwise you only turn the other one uh, no thread, yeah we have threading in the come on all chambers are threaded that's interesting and this is the uh, contents we have some serrated and a spool, two spools in the upper and serrated pins on the bottom and that's the key bidding again. So um, interesting uh, compilation. And Jim, awesome lock. I've never seen anything like it. Um, great, great pick, and uh, um, yeah, I hope hopefully uh, you'll get the package I sent you recently in uh, the next few days. I'm looking forward to that, and that's the uh, oh, here we go. Adrian Leon sent um, obviously sent this to Texas Jim, and I got it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.